r slash ask reddit what are some underrated things to do right before sleep definitely don't read the comments from the ask reddit post asking what the spookiest audio or video clips you've seen are actually cooking more lie and wait for the perfect time to strike Learning that working through a crisis shouldn't come with the extra pressure of having to be productive no matter the cost. And granting myself the mental space to actually deal with the stress coming my way right now. If I had realized this was an option months ago. I'm sure recovering from my surgery would have been a lot easier. Take care of yourselves. People. If all you have space for right now is making it through this and taking care of your loved ones. That's more than fine. I listen to old radio shows to stop my mind. Quit nicotine. Sugar. Dairy. Gluten. Been working out every other day. Call me weird or a freak. But sleeping naked really helps you relax. Learning to play the banjo. Close eyelids. Get dog in crook of arm. Gently stroke his little head. Wait for his little head wiggle. Stretch and do positive affirmations. Put lotion on your feet. Well. I'm working on becoming a better person myself. Trying to quit my porn addition. Trying to get better with my social skills. Getting a better attitude of my life. I'm also working on learning new skills. For instance. I'm working on learning Latin. Watch a visual space documentary. They're usually a snooze fest and will send you off right to sleep with some very nice imagery to dream about. I like to roll back and forth for a good 10 minutes, mess up the sheets, and lay on my wife's back while she reads webtoons. Then I listen to YouTube videos of unsolved mysteries while hogging all the pillows. Other times nothing beats fresh out the dryer sheets. Doing yoga meditation daily, sometimes twice a day, and focusing on my mental health. I've been using Yupper every day for journaling and goal setting. And have finally decided to do something about my chronic condition by downloading Curable. I've even gotten more organized. Which is big for me. Stretching for about 20 minutes to decompress from all the accumulated stress. I'm learning to be a better dad for my son. I'm showing him to be kind. Be patient and let things go. That he shouldn't be afraid of me. I've always been quick to anger and very demanding but now that he actually gets to see me on a daily basis. I'm learning to choose my words carefully and be the parent that I always should have been. Instead of the one I am now. That it's okay to not be perfect. Read out loud to your so. My wife needed to start doing physical therapy exercises before bedtime while lying in bed. One night. She complained that it was so boring. So I started to read out loud from the book I was reading. She loves it so much that now I keep going well after she is tucked in. Every night. For several years now. We have covered some great books in that time. Colon. Edit. Thanks for the golden awards. Kind strangers. Both mine and my wife's toes are curling in delight. Say goodnight to all the homies. Shower. People who shower in the morning rather than before bed really miss out. Yoga every damn day. Browse anew for 6 hours. I'm thinking of motivating myself to do things I otherwise wouldn't be motivated to do. Let 80s commercials play in the background. Meditation. For me. It's pretty much guaranteed sleep within 10 minutes. I'm trying to shore up my language skills by hitting the dictionary for several foreign languages. Maybe even become a professional translator one day. I'm just a hobbyist translator now. Also trying to teach myself art by getting a Wacom tablet so it's another lifelong hobby skill I could use. And slowly. Read. I'm trying to quit smoking to get high off cannabis. Journaling. I used to have trouble falling asleep and I learned this trick that pilots supposedly developed to fall asleep in minutes. It works like this. Once you lay down and get comfortable consciously focus on relaxing your muscles one body part at a time from top to bottom. Once you're done with that. Focus on clearing your mind. I do this by repeating a simple phrase like clear mind in my head over and over. Within a few minutes you'll be out like a light. Works every time for me. Also. I live in the middle of the Vegas strip so I turn on brown noise. That way I don't wake up to drunk tourists screaming below. 
Edit. Full disclosure. I am told there is a chance you will summon a dragon using this technique. Morning walk in the neighborhood. Living room yoga from a YouTube series. I know this is taboo on Reddit. But have sex. Write a list of shit you need to do the next day. Also. Spank it. I don't go outside and potentially infect other people. I have been doing this for a few years now. Think about what you want to dream about. One man couch hockey if ya catch my drift. Fucking shadow boxing and other light workouts all day. Lost almost all unnecessary body fat in two. Reflecting on what you're thankful for that day. I'm learning Mandarin and trying to get my qualification coursework done. CBD coconut oil under my eyes. Socks come off. Cooling off. I don't know how true this is but as far as I can remember. Your body temperature has to drop a little to be able to feel sleepy fall asleep. IDK how true this is but that's what I remember colon. 30 minutes ish before. Start turning off bright lights. Ordering lights using just the bedside lamp as a source of light. Right before. Apply hand lotion. A couple of eye drops. And lip balm. Finally writing the movie I've always wanted to. I'm more than 60 pages in, it's just flowing off my fingertips. Exercise when you mentally tired but your body is not this can set the balance right so you can finally fall asleep. I like to take my water bottle and fill it with ice and then water and then put it by my side before I go to bed. That way the first thing I can have when I wake up is a nice glass of cold water. I follow the safety rules. And I proposed, by phone, my elderly neighbors to do their shopping. Or call me if they like a social talk, by phone. Shower and masturbate. Scroll through Reddit for a few hours. I always make sure I have a full glass of water beside my bed. I rarely drink it. Though I feel weird not having it. Meeting Fitbit goals every day. Brushing up on Spanish once a day. And learning to sew for charity projects. Trying to do body, mind, and spirit improvement from home. It's obviously a huge privilege to have secure employment and good health during this time. So I feel like I need to do what I can to not waste that opportunity. Jerk off. Drink water. Mom never wants to drink water because she says it will make her pee during the night. I drink water, one stroke two of a cup, after washing my teeth and I feel colder and sleepier. Also helps to diminish the toothpaste flavor on your mouth. Wear cologne. I don't do it every night but I feel very fancy when I do. Smoking weed. I love the feeling of going to sleep a little high. Plus it really helps me fall asleep faster. Chuck on some dreamy music and bathe in that blissful state before falling asleep. Alt J. An awesome wave is my personal fave at the moment. <laughs> Sleep. Listening to ambient music. It's one of my favorite habits that relaxes me and it's just such a pure joy. I'm not talking here about ambient sounds to sleep to compilations on YouTube, Spotify but proper music albums. Some by well-known and respected music artists. Others quite obscure. The vast choice of ambient albums and subgenres makes the exploration never-ending fun. I'm always happy to share some recommendations. Reddit. I've started to do two things so far. Learning to play the piano. Which I've wanted to do for literally decades. Cleaning the flat from top to toe. Doing just a small amount each day. Knowing I'm stuck in here for at least another several weeks. Makes it easier to do a useful amount and then a... Fuck it. Enough for today. Then there's continuing to learn French on Duolingo. Watch Futurama. Drink water. I've been hitting the treadmill like crazy. Point your toes and stretch your legs out as far as you can get them to go and then. Drinking coffee. I'm gotten so used to the caffeine after abusing the hell out of it in college that a cup of medium roast coffee actually helps me go to sleep. Only really large amounts of caffeine have any effect and even then. It's not enough to wake me up if I'm tired. Before bed. I pop in earplugs. I can still hear important things, kids. Loud noises if they happen, 
But earplugs drown out hubby's snoring. Meditating. Learning how to cook from nothing. Cleaning. Reddit. Guzzle a nice cup of water. Get plowed. Spend hours reading Reddit. Started a vegetarian diet and working out as often as I can. Fluff your pillow. Masturbation. A big nothing. Texting her family goodnight even though they never respond back. Before sleeping watch something you love so you can dream about that and if it's hard to you to go early to sleep just drink milk. Masturbate vigorously. It's the truth. Putting your phone down and actually going to sleep rather than letting it hit you in the face as you pass out. Drop some liquid in her mouth and have a wonderful night. Turn off the television if you want a truly restful night's sleep. Reading more. Stretching more. Taking walks at appropriate social distance. Read a book. Shut the damn phone off. Taking out the trash. Throughout your day you collect trash. Everyday things happen to you store deep away in your mind. Maybe you don't even notice that you store these kind of thing. So what happens after a while? Is that you pile up everything that happens to you in your trash can. Your trash can is filling up slowly and when the time is there it explodes. Emotions pile out. Sometimes the trash can never explodes. Leaking just some emotion and feeling unsatisfied or unhappy in your life. Either way. It's good to clear the trash can every day right before you go to bed. I can explain how it's done if you want it. I have been working out so much. I already worked out a decent amount. But this is a new level for me. Honestly. I don't know if I'd be holding it together if I weren't working out. It gives me a sense of satisfaction of a job well done that. Smoking weed. Knocks me right out and I have such a relaxing rest and wake up feeling well rested. Stretch. Diffuse a good scent, not promoting MLMs I just actually think a good smelling room is relaxing. Or light a candle. Make your bed. Wash your face. Finding the comfiest position possible. Tense then relax each muscle in your body from your feet all the way up. Once your body feels really heavy and you're so comfy you could scream. Stay awake a little bit longer and just enjoy it. I always think it's the most peaceful few minutes of your day and you never take time to enjoy it because you always think I have to go asleep. You will go asleep anyway just enjoy the peaceful moments life grants you. Minicraft music playing over rain sounds. I've been eating at home more. And out of the 8 days I've been home. Take a nice piss before bed and eat a little meal helps you feel energized when you wake up. I started gardening and I'm really enjoying it. So far I've dug up 3 old rotten trees. Trimmed the overgrown evergreens and now the garden looks twice the size. Copious amounts of chapstick. My husband and I are actually sticking to our 6 day a week workouts without the gym. Close my eyes. When I was a kid one of my friends could actually sleep with her eyes open. No joke, it really freaked us out at slumber parties. I bought an electric guitar and an amp a week ago. I'm about to throw it out the window and hang myself with a strap. Lay there and listen to a podcast or audiobook. I take branches off the tree in my yard and make things. Green woodworking. I made two mallets. Carved a spoon. Made coat hooks. And today I am building a three log bench. Put on perfume close my eyes and visualize every thought as an asteroid that I blow up until everything is calm and quiet and I can fall asleep.